I wanted to show you a couple of Spyderco collectible knives that I have. Um, these are really cool. I don't use them. I just pretty much bought them because they increase in value and and I like them. I like Spyderco quite a bit. So I got these two. Just had to have them. We'll start off. This first one's the Spyderco Q. Pretty cool knife. <laughs> actually found this recently, even though it hasn't been made in years, in an old army surplus store, which they had it, you know, tucked down in there. They sell a bunch of cheap Chinese made fake stuff and and nobody ever was gonna pay the money. Anybody that goes in the store is not willing to pay for, you know, anything more than a couple bucks. Um, and he actually had this marked at forty nine dollars. <laughs> and it's worth quite a bit more than that now um, so I I snatched it up quick it uses a 440C steel um, blade's pretty short, it's about what is that uh, two and two and a half inches with a usable cutting of maybe two and three eighths Total length of five and three quarter inch. Um, actually has this weird back lock. Not sure what they call this type of lock, but you lift up on the handle and then uh, you can push it in. It's got a wire clip, which is uh, adjustable to all four sides. And to take it off, all you do is push them together like that, and you could you could pop the clip out. Just like that. Yeah, I'll put that back in later. Um, the Spider Co. Overall, really cool knife. Came real sharp out of the box. Extremely light. Something that uh, is amazing, pretty much. Look at this. One point two ounces. <laughs> That's because this handle is made out of some type of plastic. Um, this is definitely something that you probably don't want to use if you have it. I mean, you could use it for little things, but they are extremely collectible, and it's not that tough. It probably can't handle anything real heavy duty. You'd probably probably break it, um, but it's pretty nice. Next one here is the Spyderco S. Real similar, real similar uh, size. A little bit, tiny bit different shape blade. Um, the main differences here are this one has a finger trial up here with some jimping, so you could get in there. I really like that little extra spot they give you right there. If you had to use this knife, you could get. I'm not going to use it, but if you were using it, you could get, you know, some real fine work done. Um, it's an aluminum handle on this one instead of the plastic. It's also got a wire clip. It's adjustable uh, right or left tip up carry. This one uses a compression lock, which is different from that one. Also, some real good jimping with the finger ramp in the back. This is Spyderco 440C. Uh, measurements on this one are um, similar, about two and a quarter inch blade. Oh, wait, am I getting on there? Uh, about the same, two and a half inch blade with about two and a quarter inch being usable and a total length of six eh, six and one eighth inch something like that close enough um, and it's also pretty light not as light as the Q but still really light eh, 1.9 ounces but yeah, overall, extremely light.
All right, just wanted to let you check out uh, some of my knives that I collect. Don't use them, but I love them. All right, thank you.